What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Blades with Bill. As you can tell, I I got my camera stand fixed, so I'll be able to do the overhead views for up close like I would normally. I want to thank all my new subscribers. I'm actually almost to 200 subs here on YouTube, which is incredible to me because it seems like two weeks ago I was two three weeks ago I was waiting to hit a hundred and I was just barely getting and now I'm almost at two so this video will be coming out on New Year's Day um I really hope that I can make this a whole year this whole next year that be able to actually get to where I could get monetized here on YouTube and actually help bring in some income to help support my family. Be freaking awesome. So, again, if you like my videos and you've started following me here on YouTube, I really do appreciate it. Please feel free to share these videos. Tell friends. Try and, try and help me out with getting more subs. I would greatly appreciate it. I do not intend to be a channel that does a ton of giveaways. Because I don't want that kind of fan base. I actually want people who are into knives and want to sit around and actually talk about knives. So please feel free to, like I said... Hit the like button, share my videos with friends, try and help me out getting some subs. And to anyone who's been a subscriber of mine from the beginning, thank you very much. So today we'll be doing the full review of the SRM 7228. Let's go up close, go over some of the specs, and come back up here and I'll give you all my thoughts on it all right so we have g10 handle scales a hole for a lanyard a deep carry pocket clip crossbar lock a 3.62 inch VG10 blade an overall length of 8.15 inches which gives us a handle length of 4.53 inches it weighs 2.99 ounces so that's actually rather light for the size of the knife and blade. The handle thickness is 407 thousandths. The thickest part of the blade is 117 thousandths. Behind the edge is about 15 thousandths. So it is a very thin, slicey blade. The crossbar lock works great. There we go. You can reverse flick it, you can thumb flick it, you can just. Pull back on the crossbar lock and wrist flick it. Do a little size comparison real quick. The Kaiser Escort. And the Hogue Deca. Obviously the blade is just a little bit longer 
on the SRM than both the DECA and the Escort. But these two are pretty close in every other way. You get a little more handle out of the SRM than you do the Kaiser, but they're pretty close. The CJRB Pyrite. And the Spyderco Tenacious. Now again, the SRM is longer than both. Handles are pretty close on the Spyderco and the SRM for length. But... The Spyderco PM2. And the Spyderco Para 3. Which the SRM and the PM2 are fairly close. You get just a little more blade out of the SRM. And just a little more handle out of the PM2. But again, they're both fairly close. Let's go back up top, and I'll give you all my thoughts on it. All right, so give you all my thoughts on the SRM 7228. I picked this up from Amazon. This version of it with a $7 off coupon that they had on Amazon for under $50. It's regularly under 60 and you get a three and a half over three and a half inch vg10 blade that i'm not i have no idea how good it is compared to other vg10 this is the first thing in vg10 that i've actually ever owned so one of the reasons I went ahead and picked this up for the price. The only other thing I knew that was anywhere close in price for VG10 was the Spyderco Dragonfly 2. But this was 20 25 bucks cheaper. So, and great knife. It really is. I was actually super impressed with the fact that you can take and just squeeze the pocket clips and it comes right off. And you can see that you can literally, it's whichever, whichever side you want to go with, you can put it on. And it just, and if you can see that it's got like teeth that come out and actually grab on the inside there. It goes in, grabs. I never had any issue with it deciding to pop out on me while I was carrying the knife, putting it in my pocket, anything. So I, I had no problem with it. I carried this for... A little over a week um, like I said I know when I did the unboxing video somebody said something about in a comment that they figured with there being no actual hardware to hold the pocket clip in it would just end up getting lost so far I've had no problem like I said do I think that if you played with it constantly and it started loosening up a bit and such yeah it might but my thought is it comes in to where you can carry it on the right side which is the majority of us is where it's going to need to be leave it there and it's probably fine you'll probably have no problem with it even if you take the knife apart to clean it and stuff shouldn't have any issues 
<laughs> as far as VG10 goes, I was impressed with this. I, like I said, it's the first thing I had that's VG10. For the money, I really couldn't ask for anything better. I think it did a very good job. It took an edge very well. It's held it very well. I've had to strop it, and that's really it. So, I can't complain. It's... If I had had this before I did the video for my fav five favorite steals, budget steals, I probably would have had this in there. 154 would have gotten moved down and D2 would have got kicked out completely. I'm not a fan of D2. Uh, you might be able to tell. I don't buy a lot of stuff in D2. I've, I have some. And like I said in that video, it's just too sporadic. You don't know what you're going to get when, when you buy it. So I'd rather just not buy D2. Now, I did buy this at around the same time that I picked up this, the Kaiser Escort, to see if what is normally... A little over a hundred dollar knife is that much better than a knife that I picked up for under fifty dollars. And honestly, the only thing that I like about this so much more is the fact that you can take the scales off and literally put the spring where you want the spring tension for the lock is as tight as you want it to be or as loose as you want it to be. I think that's awesome. But for half the price, you can pick up this. And if you're like me and you like your springs to be a little bit stiffer and a crossbar lock, like I ended up putting the springs on this as tight as they would go. And then... I think I ended up having to move them back just one. So it's not quite as tight as it can go, but they're pretty close. And this gives me about the same kind of action. So I definitely would recommend buying the SRM 7228. There's a couple different versions. Uh, from what I saw on Amazon, there were three versions they all looked essentially the same. There's a yellow handled version and a blue handled version. And the yellow is VG10, but it's like $7 more, $10 more, something like that. And the blue one is actually D2. And it was actually $20 less, $15 less, something like that. But again, you're getting D2. So... Under 50 bucks in VG10. I don't know how you can complain about that. So, check out the SRM 7228. Have a great day. Oh, almost forgot. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I release a video here on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram at Blades with Bill. I'm on Facebook as Blades with Bill. I have my own Facebook page, which is Blades with Bill. Feel free to follow me on all my socials. Have a great day. Stay safe. Peace.